John here. Today is uh, Tuesday the 19th of uh, April 2016. I uh, just want to uh, bring you up to date with where we are with uh, what we're doing with the flag. This 1834-1835 Declaration of Independence flag. Uh, it is a uh, trading bank uh, commercial private contract flag uh, between us, the native Hapu, uh, and King William IV, the British military navy, and also Westminster Parliament government. Not the Crown, just the government, and King William IV, his monarch, sovereign authority, is inside this flag with us around the world in 53 countries of the Commonwealth and also 250 countries where we're going with it. Uh, at this stage, uh, I'm going with uh, uh, the blessings of the Hapu Chiefs, uh, Kingi Tauroa. Uh, he's been there for a long time, 20 years or so, with me on this um, Waitangi Marae, where we base our authority and our own sovereignty. Now, if we didn't see their sovereignty when they signed this contract with King William, His Majesty, King William IV. Um, and so, we are just picking up after 182 years to the 10th of March, 1834, till today. There's as many years as we have not picked up our trade between that date and the 6th of February 1840. That's when the government here picked up the British flag and swapped it on the crossbar <coughs> with our flag, this flag, the Whakaputanga flag. It sits opposite the British flag as legal partners in business. Still is there in business locked institute law in the Westminster Parliament, lower house, extinct forevermore. That means no one can change it, only us. I'm going there as our surrogate king, William IV, uh, sheriff of the county, there in Devon, England, on his estate land. And here in Devon, Port. Auckland, New Zealand, on his estate land, as far as commerce goes. <coughs> the King of the Sea and the King's Royal Revenue comes from the King's Bench Court, which I am sheriff, standing there as creditor with the pound note. The British Patterson Bank of England pound note passed an act in 1694. The Bank of England Act, the Pound Note Act, and the um, Mint Coin Act of King William the Fourth, King William the Third, sorry, before King William the Fourth picked it up and took it around the world, consolidated all of the wealth before that into this new. Uh, reformed actual parliament at 1834 to 1837 when he died and passed over to Queen Victoria. <coughs> now, I'm saying that at that period of time, King William's brother, King Ernest Augustus, was uh, Augustus I was the inherent um, king, from king to king, from man to man, not man to woman. And some mysterious happenings left him out and put the inheritance to the queen, Queen Victoria. <coughs> now, under Salic law, the monarch is forbidden 
to transfer from a king to a queen. Queens are forbidden to succeed to King William, King of Britain, UK, and King of England under this king. And so that's defaulted back to King William the Fourth, his monarch reigned to King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, alive today, at what in this Fakaputanga flag. So now we have um, established in the Waitangi Marae, where the ship of Admiralty of King William the Fourth sits on the high ground land of Ngati Kawa. Uh, hapu, King uh, Hapu, Kingi Taurua. Uh, he's um, as a king himself, Eruara Taurua. I'm picking him as a king here to act in his capacity as a native uh, to be in this contract. I'm representing him as his Arataki and his scribe to put this title together to seize all the lands back into his custody from John Key's government here, the alien government, uh, on that land. That's why we went into that marae on the 15th of April 2016 to declare and open it and proclaim it as the King's Bench Court beside King William's his Majesty's Ship of Admiralty from England, Britain, UK, London. Now that's fixed in time. It's supposed to be the 10th of March uh, 2016, the anniversary of this Whakaputanga flag on Kororareka Hill, where the other Ship of Admiralty's mast stands, two ships from Britain is the title that I'm talking about in these documents uh, that we use as lien instruments of mortgage over the lands. So now that Pope Francis has destroyed all trusts and corporations, including the trusts here in this country, the last day for authenticated documents under the Vatican's laws, UCC laws, canon law, uh, civil law and courier law and admiralty law of mortgages and admiralty law of the land and the sea is demolished on the 16th of July 2016. There will be no more of those laws. What I'm saying is I've seized all these lands in New Zealand, Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth of the world in 53 countries and also in 250 countries around the world where this flag has free passage through the world under King William IV, rule, authority of monarch, unbroken sovereignty. <coughs> so, in saying that, it's linked, he's linked to um, William the Conqueror, back to uh, King Solomon, and his minds. That history is all the way through, connected to us. That's why I'm speaking on his behalf until Ernest Augustus V takes his place and his son, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, um, Switzerland and Hanover, King of Hanover, up and coming to inherit his father's place. His father's still alive at 66 and his son is 37. So those are our partners in business with this flag. And it's not Prince William's flag. We have issues with that. But the article in the press from Tonga on the 22nd of December uh, 2009, John Key is supposed to be arrested if he was going to open the Supreme Court in Wellington. The New Zealand Supreme Court is illegal with its admiralty laws. It has no federal state law here. It's
they tried that in Tuhoi and failed. And they had to pay out the, the Tuhoi tribes, the Habu. No, the Iwi got the money. So the Iwi Maori is fraudulent with their titles of the Lins, Land Information New Zealand titles are fraud. With John Key's government in Wellington, New South Wales government, temporary government. Now we're coming in as the British, uh, UK, and the uh, Maui, Hapu, government of the Commonwealth, of the world. You will order under the eight point star of St. Patrick's order of the church. So we're sticking to the church where the Vatican has gone right away off the churches. He's gone right off into space. And now he's causing a lot of trouble amongst people in the world and also the Queen and her Church of England is causing a lot of trouble in England and around the world. Germany, right through the America, they're all going to go and hide in their bunkers and poison the world. Those are the people that have been using this flag because the Queen let them use it, including Obama. You're up to your neck with this now because you can't take it away from us. We still have the Admiralty Court Martial Law to Court Martial you all in this court. The Waitangi Marae that we've opened with Kingi Taurua Chief and also the Taumata Komatua Oheba Ipiha from Matauri Bay, Ngāti Kura Marae. Kingi Taurua's Marae's are Ngāti Rahiri and Ngāti Kawa on those land blocks at Titi and Waitangi Marae's. Okay, so I'm here for Kingi Taurua. I'm speaking for him on his behalf that he wants his lands back and so does the Hapu in all of Ngākuri wants their lands back. Unless I hear it from somebody else who wants their lands back, nobody's bothered with what happened. Otherwise they would have come to that hui meeting on the 15th of April 2016. 5 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock. There was only a few of us there. And I know the 39 Marais in the whole of Napui Nui Tonu and their um, Komatua leader, Oepa Epiha, were behind us at that hui. So I can very well say we had the majority of Napui at that hui, even though they weren't there. They were there because I knew. They were accounted for through the meetings at Otawa Marae and Natikura Marae in Matari Bay. I've got a record of that. I've got the videos of that. I've got videos of everything that's going on here. That's why I'm making these videos to back our claim up that we have the overlaying title over the freehold titles under the Lin's titles over every piece of land in this country. Now, Kingi Toto is coming back today. I'm going to have a meeting with you, Kingi. We're going over this four-page document that you see on Facebook now. It's floating around the world. They're watching, as well as the British military is watching, what happens here in that highest court in the world as far as King William's Admiralty Court Martial Law goes, and the bank mortgages, liens and levy, debtors and instruments in that marae. You'll notice that I'm standing inside it talking to the chiefs and to those carvings that got my whakapapa title in it. They come off my land blocks, those wood, and the mana in that marae belongs to me and my chiefs, Uetaha and Uepohatu. Hira Harama Marae, Hikarangi, Mount Hikarangi, and Fitamataro, 
Te Araroa, Marangaroa, Marae, and Uataha, Mahabu, Chief, Ancestor, Ututonga, Ututonga, Hapu, Chief, <coughs> is in that Marae. It is the history there on Titi Marae, and the woman from my Hapu that Ngāpui took away. And Utu is a payback that always been there, the Mamai of that land and my people. Those are my people, those women that are inside that Marae. The Maui statue is with me on our Marais, straight to Rapanui from Moko Nui, Moko Nui, on my own family land blocks, to Tipito, on our land blocks at the East Cape, Te Araroa, Rangitukia, straight to Rapanui, Big Shine. Sun Ra. 12 o'clock noon on East Island, 6 o'clock uh, in the morning, Tipito, from Tipito, East Island, midday, sunshine, on the bars, 6 a.m. in the morning on Tipito, East Cape, Mokonui, Mokonui, to <coughs> Ghana, Africa. On the beach, the Phoenix Hotel marks the spot of 6 p.m. in the evening. Right on that mark is the three points of the Sun Ra at the same time. It lines up with London as well, where the Moai is standing there in Queen Elizabeth to Great Court in London at exactly 6 p.m. So that's the other mark to my title to these lands in New Zealand, Rapanui, and in London, dare I say, because the Moai's Ahu Whenua is what his Ahu is standing on, his land. Okay, that's God's land. Right, that's that. But I'm saying, that's one title, King William and this flag, and his memorial at William Yard in Devon, Port, England, in the Plymouth Sheriff's County, is where his other title is, with the flag here as his other title to Devon in Auckland, New Zealand. Port is this title I'm talking about. The titles that Mohi Manukau gave me is those titles up in the Bay of Islands, in the Kaipara Harbour, Auckland, Waikato. South Island and Chatham Islands. It's all got the Manukau name of all of it. I went up with Jamie to Tingaidi where all the chiefs met on the beach and up the river to the Pohutu Kawa tree and also the four corners of the earth in the rocks on the seabed where there's light coming through four di directions of caves. I've marked that into the titles with Paulina and her Napui husband is the overlaying titles there. I'm investigating titles as the native assessor and creditor to find who sold the lands. That's what I'm doing in Auckland. I can know who sold the lands because of the original titles of the Manukau land company in Scotland put these titles together and put all the titles in the world together for that matter that we have Scottish in our family with Rogan, the judges that married my Wanoa, Uraiti Wanoa and Dick Rogan at East Cape, Te Araroa, Gisborne uh, and the uh, Native Land Court in Gisborne put all these native titles together and also John Rogan married Mariah Manika in the Kaipara and Helensville courts. was the courts running at that time, putting all these land titles in Auckland together, and 
also in the Bay of Islands, came out of these titles and the native land acts uh, um, put together from my own people. Sunakora uh, was the uh, policy maker in the Maori uh, policy maker for uh, Jeffrey, Sir Jeffrey Palmer and his Labour government. And they put together the 1986 Constitution Act, New Zealand. That was fraudulent. That's fraud. And I won't explain that today. I'll do that another day. But she was responsible for that. With her Maori government now and Georgie uh, Job, uh, they're working uh, together on the, on the Confederation. Whakaminima, uh, flag, this flag. And I'm going along with that so far as they can manage to try to put together all the rest of this country under a government other than the government in Wellington now, which is going to be audited. I'm going to audit them through this Waitangi Mirai, Waitangi Mirai uh, with Kingi Tauru, chief, and his successors. So I've been with him, like I'm saying, over 20 years, and Mohi Manikau, that gave me the titles, and Hare Ututonga gave me the Ututonga Williams titles, the original wine house in the whole of the Bay of Islands, before the first mortgage was set on Kororareka with Russell and all those families that came with the Navy there. That's the first mortgage, the second mortgage on King's Land, Narikawa, at Waitangi and Titi. Marae was brought over from that Pohudukawa tree at Tingaidi. The Titi landlocks up that way was brought next to the other Waitangi Marae. That's Waitangi blocks, not Titi blocks. They've changed it all around. They've changed all our land blocks at the East Cape around. They've changed all the land around. That's John Key's government did that. Okay, mischievously changed everything around. It'll catch them up now because we're going to get them all. <clears throat> Don't be surprised if you get a knock on your door with a sheriff coming to check your titles. And as for 77 Cook Street, uh, with those two owners and the 40 people who got in my road, I now have the backing of my chiefs to seize that land back into the custody of our chiefs. The Manukau's have been wanting their land back for a long, long time. They're dead now. The Ututongas wanted their land back. They're dead now. And all the other chiefs down the East Cape wanted their land back. They're dead now. And you people are still using it, John Key. And now you're selling it off to the Chinese. That's illegal because you have no seal of the court. You have no seal of the police. And you have no seal of parliament from the Tonga article of Prince William coming here to open the Supreme Court without the monarch of England consent and statement of confidence. This is a statement of confidence. I'm telling you today, this flag of the Whakaputanga flag is a statement of confidence foundation, founding documents, founding fathers of this country. And of the world, for that matter, in trade, where it went to after that date, 10th of March, 1834, this flag started its business with the first mortgage. Second mortgage, Waitangi Marae Courthouse. It is now declared and proclaimed to be the King, His Majesty's High Court of Admiralty. King's Bench Court. I'm the Sheriff of the County of the Waitangi Blocks and the Titi Blocks and every other block in this country and the Pacific Islands for that matter from that Marae. Okay? I'm just making a real statement here. A real statement which has taken a bit of time to put together with all the sceptics saying this and that about me, and it's all true. What I say online, all the statements, all the videos, 
and all the uh, pictures are real. They are true, and it's your word against my word. You can forget about the courts because everybody knows that every time I make statements, there's nothing to prove. There's nothing for the courts on Cook Street. The judges already said to me, he's got it on YouTube. That's when my barrister, uh, Shannon Withers, I'm still waiting for you, Shannon. It's been nine weeks now. You're holding out on me. And full disclosure of what the police did to me, arrest me, Detective Natalie Flower Du Brown. You've got a trillion pounds note on your head. And you're hiding away in the Solomon Islands. And <clears throat> you're going to be subpoenaed back into the court here and you'll lose everything because you deserve to be sent, extradited here and then deported back somewhere else to work hard slave labour that you people have fashioned all the common people of King William IV to work for you people, the elite. Hmm? I'm asking you why you did that to me without checking me out. I'm waiting for your answer and you're going to put someone else there. That's not you. You're the one that injured me. And you're the one that's going to pay. The Crown will pick the rest of the tab of the trillion pound note after you've been stripped to pay your part by your rents, your wedding rents. Okay, so that's you, John Key. You've already got a levy debtor instrument on your head in the High Court of Admiralty in London with Judge David Lindsay Mackey. And now that you've got my lawyer, QC, lawyer, Yu Tai Choi, working for you in South Korea, where I'm going, he signed your debt bill to pay up everything you lose as well. I've put your stuff, your house, your properties on Facebook this morning and this four page document underneath it. That's lethal. That, you must well say, it's got the seals on it, John Key. It's got the eight point star. That's our Irish history. Okay, not your history. It's not your history to this land. That's Irish, that's me, Cosgrove, lawyers. And Rogan, Scottish, land title designers of your titles that you're going to lose. Okay, I'm just telling you. And the crown on top of the eight point star, King William, monarch, King of England, title, and statement of confidence. What more? do I need, except a criminal on the end of a levy debtor pound note. Okay, just to let everybody know I mean business. It's very serious. What you've been getting away with, you're going to have to pay back right to 1830, when King William became King of England. King of Scotland, King of Ireland, King of Hanover, King of the Pacific Islands, and Altair, New Zealand. Now king of the Commonwealth of the world, 53 countries, his descendant and successor living, King Ernest Augustus V. You, I'm waiting for your call. I'm waiting for you to give me a text or email or put something on my Facebook or Twitter me and let me know you're interested in taking this flag over as our partner because I'm telling you, you should be in Westminster cleaning it out. I don't want to go in there because it's that dirty. It's that filthy in there with paedophiles and I wouldn't want to work with that hanging over me. We're going to start off in Devon, nice clean place in Plymouth, to Plymouth here in New Zealand. Okay?
Okay, we're going to Plymouth. I believe there's a Plymouth in Australia. So I'm just saying in this video to all you people who are watching that I fixed the camera to stop the noise and I hope this one comes out quite clear because I'm quite clear and I'm straight up and I'm honest uh, as the day goes by that believe me in what I say after going through the gates on Waitangi Marae and into the Marae itself I only have one more job to do as surrogate King William IV put our flag up on his flag staff ship that's the last job we're going to do Kingy Tarua you're my friend always been and I know you're getting restless now and asking me where's it going to happen because I think you're surprised we're going up the top Marae when you say which Marae we're going to big surprise for everybody watching this video so don't doubt what I say because it's true everything I've got online is true including the Moai story. Now, <clears throat> I'm saying this in those old people who have followed us all through the years. I know a few of them in Tuhoi uh, and Tainui uh, that have uh, um, tracked each other all the way through these years. That now's the time uh, to come together in that fire on the 28th of October 2016 this flag will be flying at the top well before then. In fact, it could be flying next week. Once it's up the top on that uh, flagstaff pole in the treaty grounds, that's the ultimate. And I'm just saying, it's already up there because I've made intentions to put it up. It's just a matter of time to put it up. And to get the official uh, uh, letters going to Britain, I've got to write uh, to the British military, our partner, and the Navy, uh, uh, Sir George Zimbalas, and uh, Sir Nicholas Horton, uh, 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 sorry, Sir George Zimbalas is the Chief of Navy, the Admiral of the British military, our direct partner with this Admiralty Court Martial flag, and um, uh, Sir Nicholas Horton, the Chief of the Army, uh, British military and also um, 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 the other um, um, Secretary of Defence um, I just can't think of his name, name at the moment uh, Hammond, Hammond? Uh, Michael uh, Michael his name uh, not Hammond uh, Michael uh, anyway him, him. Uh, just uh, slip me his name, uh, Fellow, Michael Fellow, uh, the Chief of uh, Defence, there's a message to you. Please acknowledge that we've got our Marae back and our land back on the Waitangi Marae uh, of Ngāti Kawa, back into the Chief's hands, King Tauruā. You'll see his photo with us inside the whare, the marae, the highest court in the land here, in the Pacific Islands and the world for that matter, in native court. That is our native court on this land with my own carvings in it from my marae's at the east coast. On our, on our Uetaha Hapu, uh, chief's land, and Uepohatu, chief's land. Now, that's our title, uh, Michael Fallon, uh, please assist us, send your best uh, man in the Navy here, or military here, because I want you on our land blocks at Rangitukia to put a new airport there, it's 13 to 15 kilometers long along the river bed. And I want your planes in there, the Navy, the Army, and the Air Force right there to look after our seabeds, our lands, our skies, and our business between here and England. Because we have other outside forces from China, Russia, and Germany, 
and everywhere else but Britain hanging around these parts. So you'll have to do something before it's too late and it's gone. The Queen is responsible for jeopardising their side of the contract with the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi is now at risk because she's abandoned ship in Admiralty terms. She has abandoned ship and gone to the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest. John Key's government is a conflict of interest because he has no sovereignty of a Queen or a monarch in Britain. He can't use this flag because it's our contract, private contract and private business that he has nothing to do with that. Then nobody else, for that matter, can inquire into our private business between me and the Chief Kingi Taurua. At this moment, the last man standing on his feet is the oldest rangatira and oldest taumata kaumatua on Titi Marae, and now he's inside the Waitangi Marae all to himself. Congratulations to you, Kingi. You made the grade as far as the Moai statue is concerned, and God's law, natural law of common law of the Pākehā, white man, man's law, and God's Moai earth law, natural law. Okay, spirit is put back into these lands. That's what Donald Trump said. The spirit's gone out of America and their level laws, land laws of Britain is still under British law. So although this video is long, I hope it comes out clear to make up for the other video I made yesterday uh, about what we're doing with the three days we had in, in Waitangi, the 13th, the 14th and the 15th of April 2016. It's historic. I'm just backing that up and making this video quite clear that the 13th day we were at the Paihia War Memorial Hall. We had the first day to Wananga or go over the documents uh, and, and statements that I make. Very few people came. You see, the amount of interest of wanting to open the books and not even the Navy came. Not even the government came to that meeting. And not even any of the iwi and any of the people around the area. Only just those who had a bit of spirit in them came. Only the spirit people came to that hui. And our chief Kingi Taurua was there with my daughter Tracy. Now, they're working on these land titles now. And Tracy's a uh, Manukau District Court Registrar of past and knows land titles very well in my family. She'll be doing the investigation of the land blocks at Matari Bay. All of those land blocks right around Titi and Waitangi and I shall inspect them to make sure they're right on as far as Kingi is concerned. He has his place in history, in time, fixed in this video. Snapshot. Kingi, I'm snapshotting everything with your name on it and your photo and your signature right to these documents straight to England and Westminster Parliament and the British military and Navy. You can write to the Navy here, John Martin, <coughs> Rear Admiral John Martin, Chief of the Navy in New Zealand, never answered my three letters. He's going to get a fourth letter from me, officially sealed by the King of England, monarch, and a statement of confidence flag to go with it. What more could you have? than that, than a panel that what they are using as vice admiral and not a true admiral in their Supreme Court. It's illegal. It's running a ramshod scam business on our lands. Now 
that's what we're getting rid of. We're going to get our land back legally in their system of New Zealand law. They've broken all their laws. They've broken the Treaty of Waitangi laws. They put the principles of the treaty. That's fraud because you never had a seal to do it. You had no right to make statute law without a seal from a monarch in Britain, England. They had nothing, just the whim. And to you, Sean Elias, and your husband, you're in real trouble with this Waitangi Marae. Sorry, but that's the law. That is the King's Bench Court law, not your Supreme Court. This is higher, because it's your word against mine. In your court, you have to answer me. If you can't and you stay silent like you always do, you lose. You lose because your queen is gone. She's abandoned you. And you've just carried on going in ignorance of the law in your courts. Now, so I'm waiting for the judge, Fraser, Grant Fraser, here in the Auckland District Court to answer me. And clear my court case. Clear my court case, drop the charges, <coughs> because I'm going to take it in a higher court on the other side, in the Waitangi Marae, and the High Court of Admiralty in London, Judge David Lindsay Mackey. They use all my documents on Facebook is admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in London. Not here. Not here, because they won't allow it here, because it's too honest not fraudulent enough for these courts. You're going to get caught. The Panama Papers and the tax havens are here. We're going to investigate them all. I'm a sheriff of the county of that court. The Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. The High Court Native Court in their country and the world. <clears throat> so, we shall proceed with our court cases online and seal that marae digitally online without going there. We'll only go there when we need to make official presentation like that we did on the 15th. It's supposed to be the 10th of March 2016 there for... Kororareka and for that Waitangi Marae uh, flag staff, the two ships, the two British ships with the tent, Whakaputanga flag ceremony that you never have for us. They raise the flag on Kororareka on the 10th of March of every year, and that's the founding documents here from Britain on that date uh, as settlement, first settlement. And on the Waitangi Marae land block, the 28th of October 2016 has been the 28th of October 1835. Period of time, 181 years there and 182 years on Kororareka, Russell, Mikey Hill. Okay, so that's, that's wrapping it up completely. And now I'm just writing to my barrister, Shannon Withers. This one's for you. I'm writing to you and giving you 72 hours, three days, 72 hours to reply to me to settle the case, settle it with the judge. And if you can go back to Judge Fraser, because he found me innocent. I was always innocent with all this going on. No one believed me. You're going to believe me now because I've got more people supporting behind this. I've got a lot of people around the world watching you people make mistakes in front of me. I'm here for my life. I'm here. It's my word and your word. If you say nothing, you lose. Just like that. We don't need documents for this because it's private. It's my business with those landowners, Simon, Brent, Roundtree and 
James Pierce Brown, you're liable all the way through. It's costing you more and more and more each time, each day goes by. Okay? Each day goes by, the bill is mounting a trillion a day. Okay? It's not my fault. That's the rule. That's the law. We just passed them on the 15th in that marae. On, 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 in, in the Waitangi Marae courthouse. Right? Every marae is a courthouse. Well, it's got Moai King William Trust on it, on its documentation. Every document from that day is now official. It's being passed. It's being witnessed with the police being there. Paul T. Bennett, constable from Kerry Kerry, was there at the request of uh, Papa Tomata Komatua uh, Hebeha actually brought him there. I'm surprised that the police were there because I have a thing against police with what they did to me. They were all liable, the whole 15,000 of them, 13 to 15,000 of them, they were all liable. They've got a trillion pounds on their head, each one of them. Tough. That's Moai law. You break Moai God's law, you pay. That's all there is. There's no undoing. No forgiveness, no nothing. You pay. That's the law. And King's law. The man law, in your law, is corrupted. Is corrupted to hell and back again. That you can see online now. Nothing but bullets and fraudulent dealings of pirates. This flag is a declaration of war flag. It was made for people who got in the road. And the military came and pushed you out of the way or disposed of you between here and Britain and our business. Between here and Britain. Okay? Between here and Britain. That still stands. Nobody else's business. Anybody who settled here is John Key's government in Wellington with the Queen. That the Queen and the 1840 Treaty is fraudulent. That's everything you see fraud in the world belongs there. They are levy debtors with the pound note, the Moai pound note, the Moai powerhouse bank pound note is levy, levy dittering John Key and all his agents right through the world. The elite, you're all going to get that in this Moai. That's the crown jewels, right to say, it's the crown jewels of the world. Is that Moai? Kid me wrong. Kid me wrong. You need to say something, all you people. It's no use ignoring the truth. It's going to come out now. You have to come clean because you're getting investigated. We're going to contract. Every experienced person, private investigators, not police, because they're bad. Same as these police in Auckland, in the CIB, that laughed at me. You laughed at me, Tim Duffy. You laughed at me, Aaron Pascoe, CIB, detectives. And you laughed at me, Natalie Flower Dew Brown. See who laughs last when you get the bill. When you get the bill, you can't back out of this one because you can't stand up yourself without putting something else there to mask you over. That person, that woman in the court who stood in for you wasn't the woman that damaged me. It was you, Natalie Flower Dew Brown. You're going to have to stand up in front of God and me and my and my chiefs watching you on this video. Okay? We'll come there. Now someone will come there and get you and bring you back here in handcuffs. Right? And every other policeman in handcuffs. We're going to handpick all our own marshals and sheriffs. Right? Now that's the law. Player, you're gone. And you pay on our land. You're mischievous on our lands. And our people have been suffering all these years. And other people we are allowed to come and live with us. The money here. It's just as much 
sovereign people here, but they've got to prove themselves where they got here from, how they got here, and their surname, especially the surnames. We're checking every surname. You've got to stand up and talk for your surname. Any clever mouse, clever cookies, is what Paul Hepper, Epiha says. We've got to check your names to see if it's real. A lot of Maori names are not real. I can tell which one. I've got a big long list of them online. They're online. The British have got a copy of who's who and who's fake. Okay, so don't think you're on these lands and think you're Whangai without being checked out because it'll go back to the right hapu. No jumping the queue. There will be no jumping the queue to try and make yourself a chief if you haven't got the other ones to respect with the right names, like Parapara, okay? That's an old Tūruhu, Parapara, Patapurai, okay? Now, I went up with Jamie to Paulina's place up in Tengai, and she's always disrupting meetings. In fact, she disrupted my meeting, but she's got a reason. She's got a reason and a valid, truthful one because she's one of these spirit people who must protect us from any pirates. Now, she told me who sold those lands up there in Matoi Bay. And we're going to go and investigate every single one of them, every piece of land in this country, to find who has been ripping who off. And they're going to have to pay for it. You're going to have to put, sorry, that's the law. You're not going to get away with it, with John Key. You're all accountable now that this has come out with the Panama tax fraud and all the bogus companies, and including Iwi Maoris titles. Your titles are suspect with the treaty claims, and you, Chris Wilson, Attorney General, you're the biggest crook just side of the moon because I'm going to show you up. And Te Ururo Flannel, you're another one. You're another one. I can name you all. I, I can name you all. You're going to have to stand in front of that court online, straight to Britain. As soon as we get Cook Street sorted, you'll be going straight to England in the court because I'll deal with you there the highest court in the world, there. Okay? That's what I'm saying. So, that's enough for this video. I thought it was going to be short. I'll make a little short one afterwards. But I'm making things quite clear that I've had enough of fraudulent dealings in front of us in these lands and the Pacific Islands and all the fracking and all the chemtrails, you're going to get caught, and all the polluting the water. John Key, you and your crown, you're going to get booted to high heaven because of what you're doing to wreck this country, wrecked all our seabeds, 70 metres of land gone at the East Gate. It's you, you lot that just wrecked the whole land because you've got a law on your side. The law has just changed. The law has just changed back because your queen is just like you, ran away with a spoon. Okay?